And speaking of which, from what I remembered from last video, I forgot to uh, set up a. Um, I completely forgot to set up the. Uh, to let you guys know about the results of my latest replication. Okay, um, I'm going to post the uh, access to the sources here, so this way you can take a look at the full data yourself, um, at least take a look. Uh, at the calculators, etc. Um, if you actually need them, they're in the emails, but um, I'll explain the data. Anyway, um, since the last video when I was talking about my clairvoyance results using the open blind uh, um, approach uh, using the Zaner card uh, test at uh, psychicscience.com, again, I'll post the links over here. I'm the links are posted over here in the summary. Um, basically, um, the original study I had done, uh, I've been setting the uh, I've been uh, arbitrarily in advance setting the goal at about 6,000 trials, um, you know, just regardless. So that's the um, that's the uh, the final, uh, just the uh, again the the overall I've pre-selected. So here's what I have. Uh, I probably should go into elaboration uh, for the final clairvoyance results. Um, oh, okay. Uh, let me. S yeah. Okay. Well, not to worry. I've got it open. Um, okay. Basically, here's what happened. Um, I went and used a, I should probably elaborate uh, basically on what's been happening with this. Um, I originally, um, the, uh, basically, I went originally from the dates of, um, let me open the file here. I happen to have the file saved on my computer as well. I just kept the, uh, track of all the, uh, let's see. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay. Okay. So uh, basically, for the first, uh, for the first part, I went from um, uh, basically from uh, the 26th of September 2007 clean through to um, January of um, uh, sorry February 2nd 2008. Um, basically, what this was was that this was an attempt at looking at clairvoyance. Uh, this was using the exact same um, data. This was using the exact same uh, um, what should I call it? Uh, the exact same ESP test as was used uh, during the telepathy trials, which are in my peer-reviewed paper with the Journal of Scientific Exploration, which is under review right now. Uh, basically, what it is again, the links are here. Um, basically, what it is is a, uh, it's a it's a random number generator. It's a uh, Zener card test. Uh, the five standard Zener cards, um, you know, circle, cross, wave, square, and star. And what happens is that um, I go to the site, and the each run is uh, d is done as follows. It is set for open. Uh, the um, sorry, the the test type is set for clairvoyance. The deck type is set to open. That would mean that basically um, it would be as if you had like a pack of Zener cards and you pulled one out at random for that trial. Then you stuck that one back in the pack, reshuffled the entire deck several times, and pulled out a, a completely new card at random. So it, it basically, it's off a pseudo random pattern. Um, effectively, effectively, it basically means that the card is randomly selected every trial using a random number generator. Um, then I set the uh, the uh, uh, run type as blind, and the reason for doing that is to uh, in, is to remove um, any possibility of any feedback, sensory, uh, you know, during the test, um, you know, which would allow to pattern guess that sort of thing. And then I set the run at 25 cards, which is the standard uh, run for an ESP test. Um, doing this uh, afterwards, I clear. I basically ran each one, uh, every run. Was uh, categorized and ca uh, every run was cataloged um, with the following: the total number of trials, which of course was 25 for everyone, the total number of hits, which would be recorded by the computer, um, before and then show, which would be recorded by the uh, by the test, and then shown at the end of the run. Um, this would be to uh, again not showing number of hits during the run prevents uh, feedback and uh, pattern guessing. It's a uh, it's a technique to prevent sensory leakage. And uh, you know, it's basically to get rid of uh, of normal channels of uh, gaining of information. Uh, at the end of it, uh, at the end of it, um, uh, what happens then? It's all cataloged, and then um, after all this, the total number of trials are summed at the ending. Um, Six thousand trials were obtained. This was for the original uh, from uh, from. Uh, sorry, let me get this again. This was from uh, September 26, 2007 to February 2nd, 2008. Um, each day had uh, multiple runs on it, or some days varied. Uh, but the overall uh, total number of hits on the first one was uh, out of 6,000 trials was 1,325 hits. And um, and using a two-tail statistical analysis uh, using standard binomial probability approximation. Um, the probability 
uh, P uh, two tail is less than 0 0.00058, uh, sorry, 59, which rounds out to odds of 1 in 17,000 uh, of this happening by chance. Um, I later then uh, conducted a separate set of replications. Um, again, they're in my email as well, which um, were from, uh, which was follows. Excuse me, while I open the um, relevant file on that. Okay, in this one, uh, we had, uh, we had uh, we had uh, another run. Um, this one was from the uh, hang on, sorry. This one was from the uh, the third of February. Uh, I, sorry, I seem to have lost my place here. This was from the third of February to the seventeenth of February. Uh, let me confirm this. Yes, the third of February. Sorry, to the yes to the seventeenth of February. Another 6,000 trials, again, another independent uh, study. This one uh, has attempted a replication. Uh, this one uh, had thir uh, 1,317 hits as opposed to the form 1,325 of the previous study. And this one came out as a, uh, this replication attempt, came out with uh, a probability of p value less than 0 0.0017 with odds of 1 in 5,884 of this resulting by chance. Uh, both databases are um, are in emails, which I've already emailed to myself. Uh, again, untouched. And um, uh, should anybody request uh, the actual data and the websites, again, that's all in the data. Um, again, it's all in the data. Uh, feel free to um, feel free to use it. Uh, uh, feel free to uh, ask me for emails. All the instructions on how to calculate the probability are there. Um, I should mention that uh, the uh, the way to use the psychic science um, testing. Uh, you know the side test significance calculator um, for this is basically to uh, when you set it you set it as open one in five because the Zener uh, card probability so the probability of getting each trial is a one in five since there are five uh, symbols then the total number of trials and the total number of hits which in each case would be sixteen thousand and thirteen twenty five or sixteen thousand and, uh, and uh, thirteen seventeen. Um, I currently got a third replication attempt underway. Uh, the results look promising. However, until the 600, tri the 6,000 trials, sorry, uh, mark has been met. Since I'm using a constant 6,000 trials overall, um, the data I cannot, um, and I've emailed the data myself. I cannot reveal uh, what those pro what those odds are looking like right now. As again, they're subject to whatever. Um, the reason I use 16. Uh, now I should mention again to uh, take care of possibilities. Uh, selective reporting uh, as to whether or not I have clairvoyance. I'm just testing myself at this point. Um, compounding error is not uh, an, is probably not an issue owing to uh, see my videos a look into the psychic update had there um, because of the uh, telepathy for skeptics for believe uh, for skeptics and believers. If there had been a compounding effect, it would have been caught early on. Um, Six thousand trials. I'm trying to you know go well over the few hundred trials which I've done in my telepathy studies to um, in my telepathy study to see that you know that you know it's, it's allocative of chance. Um, again, statistical compounding errors out. Selective reporting uh, for you know like discarding of runs or stuff like that highly unlikely. Again, um, you know I'm not trying to do this to myself. This is just simply to test. Um, and besides, uh, experiment or fraud is an unfalsifiable claim. Uh, should skeptics ever try, to, uh, fellow skeptics ever try to accuse me of that? Um, statistical fluke possibly. Sensory leakage again not likely as uh, again as there are negative runs. Um, pattern guessing and sensory leakage from the total number of hits at the end is unlikely. So again, we're probably either dealing with a statistical fluke that is replicated twice, or a possibility of some sort of clairvoyant capability. Again, I don't know. I'm not making any claims. The data will speak for itself. Um, the links are in the summary in case you want to take a look. Um, if you need uh, if you need the data itself, um, send me an email. I have uh, copies uh, of the data of each of the of each of the studies in my uh, file itself. You can uh, to, so you can take a look. Um, again, it's untouchable it's because I sent it to myself as an email attachment, so I can't alter it. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, do feel free to give me an email if you need the data itself to replicate. Um, otherwise, that should be it. Um, so toodles.